So this is the Tour of Serbia 2022 highlights. Now, first stage, here I am off the front with my luminous elves. If you ever need to find me, I've got some dodgy elves and I'm probably flying all over the bike. So first stage, pretty flat, couple of hills. Plan for the team was getting a break. Here's more boys getting the break. Our kit is like yellow and red. Lovely combo. Velo Shields Interbike Race Team is the is the name. So anyway, all of us just wanted to get in a break as much as possible. So that was the plan uh, to begin with. So you can see here we've got Eugene in the break, which is sweet. This is the ring wing break. Have a look at the lack of road on the end of this corner. You like go around this corner and then there's just no road, which was stunning. Um, but anyway, yeah, this was the break. Eugene, super, super aero. Um, like one of the most aerodynamic humans I've seen in the break. Um, he's with Abne, who's a really, really strong guy. Um, for bike aid, a couple of Conti guys like Ljubljana are there, Pro Concrete are there, the big rivals. Um, but yeah, like basically these guys got away, which was really good uh, for us because it meant we didn't have to chase, not that we would have done, but also that there's a good chance they'd stay away, be able to get a good result on the stage as well as gain some time on GC. So you can see towards um, the end of the stage, Eugene's getting some KOM points, which he would have been in the jersey. But unfortunately, Eugene punctured. There was some miscommunication with the team car and uh, he got motor pace back on and we got 150 franc fine uh, as a team. Um, well, 100 for Eugene, 50 for driver and then also some other things. But anyway, this is the second to last climb. You can see Eugene's looking really strong. The Serbian boy had a little issue but managed to get back on. Um, but they didn't actually show the final climb. So this was all we saw. Pro Concrete Lab binned everyone on the climb. Big licks on the descent um, and took the W. And Eugene managed to roll in for third, which was pretty good. So... All in all, a successful day for the boys. Um, I mean, I didn't really do much. I just got dropped on the last climb, which was sad, and then just cruised home. Um, so Serbian lad in second. You can see Eugene behind in third, but really good for the team. Like, podium in a 2.2 is strong for a club team. Uh, obviously, like, most of us are not full-time or anything, so not a bad result. There you can see Eugene getting his uh, his little medal and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, there's me roll out tomorrow, so you can see number 14 is myself uh this is just like the beginning bit is a very odd rollout but again this stage was super flat um you can see so everyone rolls out then you stop to have a piss and then they start and it's like from the gun very strange but anyway as i was saying my goal was to get in a break as much as possible today so i was really attacking a lot early on you can see here's me um a guy a serbian bloke um and also a conti guy from meridiana so i thought this was really like a good chance but the issue was the team in the yellow jersey pro concrete they really wanted to control the race so they didn't let us go um which was a shame like we had four guys in the top 20 so i guess it makes sense you can see here's me in another move and that's the thing it's actually not that hard to get into these moves the thing is they don't really go by strength it seems in these races it goes by are we gonna let you go and they didn't so like in the break it was fine like it was easier than like a nat b Anyway, and then it cools down. You can see our whole team is at the back because we hate fighting for position. I'm having a good chat with Adne. You can see everyone else just cruising around. And this was 130 watts for 20 minutes. Mad. Um, but over the top of this climb, I had bad position, got dropped. He, what a surprise. But over the top, everyone went pretty nuclear. You can see it's really strung out. It all came back together. You can see the Lotus team really drilling it. There's Archie Eugene getting across. Carl as well in good position. So... This was good though. We then afterwards attacked, got two guys in the break. But unfortunately, Archie, you can see here, has a puncture and he got dropped from the break, which is a real shame because Carl's a super strong sprinter, would have been these people in a sprint, um, but they didn't stay away because no one wants to work, which was a bit of a shame, to be honest. I don't know why there was a lovely honor guy, I guess, to be fair, they won the stage, so fair enough, but the other bloke didn't want to work either. I think he was from Cranch. It was a bit annoying because like, obviously we probably would have won the stage if they stayed away, but unfortunately they did not stay away. Um, and end up in a bunch sprint. You can see Eugene is on the floor here on the left hand side in a bush. He was our like guy third in GC, so I went back with another guy to go help him, and he got managed to get back on. Ljubljana lad won the stage. Carl got fifth um, there, which was a strong result from him. But we lost no time with the GC guys, so that was the big one. So going into stage three, this is the big mountains one. You can see yet again I'm in the break. This was a pretty good one to be fair. There was like eight of us, but again. Me and another guy from our team were in it, so it got chased back, which was a shame. But yeah, this one I knew I wasn't going to be able to get around in any group in the climb. I wasn't really going that well in this race, so decided that instead it was best just to just to uh, see if I'd get in the break. Unfortunately, I couldn't. The break had now gone. Most people were sitting up, but I decided oh, I might as well just give it one last chance to try and get across because I knew this was like it. You can see everyone at the front soft tapping pro concrete, the guy in the leader's jersey. We're on the front and anyway i launched it across it was a not great attack i came from not that far back but i got a gap 
um, a guy from Pro Concrete came across, but he didn't want to work, obviously. And then this Meridian, or a Serbian guy didn't want to work either, which was a shame. So anyway, the break had gone. I wasn't in it. No one else from our team was not was in it, which was annoying, but it was fine. Basically, we I just helped the guys get into good position at the bottom of the climb. Um, this was the railway crossing. So we came from the right hand side and had to cross go across it. So, um, yeah, mental. So we were on the right and then the, it, the road went left. So you had to go across the railway tracks. It was mental. I don't know how they've whacked this in, but this is a classic UCI 2.2, it seems. Um, but anyway, on the main climb, bike aid went nuclear. They caught the brake, which were these three guys here. Um, and Yawit Damane, super, super strong. Him and Adne rode everyone off their wheel. There's not much footage from this, to be honest. There was no attacks. It was literally just like... Then here's Archie, who's got sixth in Tour of Albania. He's really, really strong climber. We're going to have an Archie appreciation day tomorrow. But them two won by like five minutes, the bike eight boys. They're like ridiculous. So they were a different level to everyone else. So going into stage four, it meant that there was big time gaps. We were trying to get third on GC. Uh, we, were like, we were like 15, 20 seconds off Pro Concrete for the third on GC. And um, yeah, the, the bike eight boys had second, uh, st uh, what's it called, Sonar. But here's the Archie across appreciation ride. This man is so strong. He is a monster. He gets on the front and drills it on this climb. Basically drops everyone except Meridiana bloke and a Serbian lad. Um, he's literally just like mad what's the kilo Archie, like 6.1, 6.2 for 20, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, you can see here again, he's on the front just drilling it. He managed to mop up the KOM jersey. And this whole segment is going to be about my terrifying descending. I actually hate, normally I'm okay at descending. Like not great, but fine. Um, but honestly, like this bit was so, it was like pissing it down with rain and so foggy you couldn't see a thing but archie cross no worries for the big man he was just drilling it getting across um and yeah just mopping up the kom competitions left right and center he managed to get a couple the day before when he was in the break before he punctured so that was really good from him and good for the team to have a jersey but you can see this is like very very foggy in a bunch i did not enjoy it. i have my best legs today though on, on this day um like did 310 watts for like 15 minutes and it was actually fine um before and before that was like 270 for 40 minutes and actually, i actually i felt okay um i think you can see me here on the left maybe oh no actually you can't but this is what we were descending literally couldn't see a thing yeah there is me sorry on my elves and it, i did not enjoy this descent we whacked it down there and it was terrifying i was like 30 or 40 seconds to the leaders i like sag descended so went to the front like this is this is what i'm talking about it was pretty bad um, you can see Archie's already, he's not the best descender, I think he doesn't mind me saying, and he gets dropped big time on the descent as well. Um, you can see these, that's the <laughs> Meridiana bloke, and then Archie is all the way back here, poor lad. But to be fair, he managed to get back on, so it all was chill. But Ljubljana, in our, my group, the Conti team, they whacked it down there, and um, they put a lot of time into everyone else. You can see there's gaps left, right, and center. This is coming up to the final climb. Archie mops up the KOM jersey, um here i actually got spat on that climb which was a shame but i just had bad position going into it um and then managed to get back on from some motor pacing you can see i was on the back there had a puncture and this is what i'm talking about if you're a sprinter in these races you've got to be nutter like just people crashing wheels flying out like honestly it's ridiculous like if you go in here you might as well just say cheerio to any sort of collarbones um you can see it's absolute carnage but there was scandals we lost loads of time on gc because people got held up behind crashes and then um they like blame, I don't know, they didn't give proper, there's Carl who crashed second wheel and he lost time, but like, how can you lose time with second wheel? Like it just makes no sense. They were, it was really unprofessional the time gaps in the end and I don't, everyone was complaining because it made zero sense. But anyway, this Bosnian bloke managed to win, but Carl was on his wheel and crashed out and so lost his top 10 on GC, which is just crazy. But you could see that there, like he, his wheels skipped out there. So it was pretty crazy. This sprint, I mean, all in all, absolutely mental. Uh, but luckily I'd punctured, so I <laughs> got the same time as everyone else and didn't have to contest this wild sprint. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick quick update on Tour of Serbia, how it went for Vela Shields. Pretty successful tour for us. Uh, Jersey in the KOM competition, fourth on GC, should have been like seventh. But anyway, that was sad. And then, um, oh no, actually we got seventh on GC, but should have been fourth and seventh, sorry. Um, and then also top 10 in every stage except the last one. So really, really good from us. Um, I was didn't do much, but you know, did what I could. Uh, but yeah, good day out. So anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.